You're also trying to find information in which paragraph it's in, but here you're trying to find the whole paragraph. So notice that they always have an example. You see the example there with section E. So one of the first things you would want to do there is cross out that example. Don't use that. Um, that cannot be an answer. So that helps us to reduce possible answers and we can be more clear on what we want to do. Again, I will be looking at all uh, nine of those except for number six, of course, because that cannot be an answer. I'd have a quick think of all of them and then I would look through the section. So we have five questions here. Then I'd be looking at section A and then trying to decide which of those possible headings could it be. Remember, paragraph matching is the whole paragraph. So one way IELTS try and trick you with this question is give you a heading that is too specific. So be very careful about that in the test.